Hey guys, it's me, Honest Review here, and today I'm gonna review the Ace Fit Figures Common Rider Amazon Alpha and Amazon Omega. Yes, this is the double review. So, two of this version is from uh, the, Com the Common Rider series, Common Rider Amazon. And yes, this figure is second hand, so I'm gonna review, I'm gonna do a double review, and yeah. So this one is from season one. This one is from season two. That's why we have the blind uh, alpha. So yeah, it said season two version over here. This is the side of the box. This is the back of the box, and it's on the other side. And it shows Kamen Rider Alpha and Omega really well. Yeah. So here we have Kamen Rider Omega. Omega looks really nice. Omega is, has a uh, oh wait no fuck <laughs> this alpha. I'm sorry. This uh, twelve in the morning. Uh, I just twelve in the night, midnight. I guess. Uh, I just wanna do a review because um, this right now is it's uh, Luna New Year holidays. Nobody's selling and nobody's opening in Vietnam, so we don't even have uh, bootlegs to review. <laughs> So, this is Alpha right here. So his eyes, his eyes are white because in the second season, spoiler alert, he got uh, stabbed, kind of like stabbed, and he is blind. So that's why his eyes are white. And on the detail, everything looks really nice. The joints, I already fixed them, so I can do a proper review on them. And of course, the accessory is. All good, so that's why I that's why I'm gonna review them. So here's the eyes. It looks really great, and I really love the clear plastic on the I don't know what this called fins, and uh, and it's really nice. And I really love the shading on the chest. The normal Alpha version doesn't look really good with that chest. We really love the eyes on the belt. And the belt can can be put out, but I put some stuff in there, so it's kind of stuck. Everything looks really nice. So here's Omega. Omega is uh, kind of like uh, he's the main antagonist. Oh wait, the main character from season one. Alpha is also, but. The story mostly revolves around him, and then on the second season, uh, it revolves about someone else. So yeah, uh, this one kind of like have uh, really bad scratches. I kind of repaint it, but it still looks really clear with in the camera. I just repainted it because look at that the crouch speed, the X user on this, uh, he kind of. He scratched all the paint over here, so I kind of repaint it. So yeah, I really love it. I really love the compound eye. I don't really like the yellow thingy, but it's more for the design. And this one on the figure might be really easy to scratch and get dirty really easily. You can see that the paint on this one and this one is already kind of different. It's because how old this figure was. I think this is from 2016, maybe. Man, I'm. So, yeah. I kind of repaint on my repaint. I used the paint also to paint on the joints so it looks more metallic and would fit more to the suit. So, actually, so both of the rider have this feature that you can take this off and put it in like so. But this is actually where you store the weapons. And speaking of weapons, we only have two weapons. Because in the movie, uh, in the series, Omega only used three kinds of weapon. First thing is his, uh, I don't know, but it is kind of like a spear. I don't remember the name. But yeah, he took it out from here and it turned into a spear. And he also have this knife he also took it out from the handle 
and you also have another whip but it comes with his motorcycle so I don't really I don't own that and each of them have an effect like so to put it in like that when you like scratching something but I think this is from alpha I think this is for alpha yep this is for alpha and this is from Omega they looks exactly the same on the same side too and Omega actually have this thing so this is used when he use his violent punish his kinda like a finisher for a common rider you can take this out I don't know I don't okay I can't see stuff right now you can take that out and then put it in like here so yeah and he also have a lot of hands like many many hands Jesus so he Omega have open hands like so this is kind of like a relaxed hand and he has really good detail on there he have two like crawling scratching hands over here and put it on there he have weapon holding hands he also have motorcycle holding hands I guess I think so it kind of look like it these are different so yeah it's kind of on angle and he also, I think that's it. He also have fisted hands, so that's it. And for Alpha, his hands kind of like a different. He looks almost the same, but he has kind of like a spine over here. Something really sharp over there. I think, yeah, is a little bit different from Omega. You can see right there. Nice. And... Alpha has the same set of hands with Omega and he doesn't come with weapons but he comes with an Amazon uh, Amazon heart and so you can make the, the um, movie sequence where he just punch his way through an Amazon and took the heart out and that was one of the best <laughs> moments in Amazon and yeah that's really nice and I bought this because I just love the dy dynamic duo on this. And I just love how Alpha is. He just kind of look like he have the same way of... I don't know. I just relate to him so much. But uh, I just have the vision of Omega. But uh, I act the same kind of like um, Alpha, I guess. So, for the size comparison, here is... Here, Alpha is next to the Lightning Collection White Ranger, which is a 6 in figure. Here is next to the Marvel Legend uh, Big Time Spider Man, I guess. Yep. Also a 6 in figure. Here is next to the SA Figure Arts Kamen Rider Bill. They are almost the same height. Bill's a little bit taller. And so, yeah, that's it for the size comparison. So, how about the articulation? They are, they have exactly the same articulation, but the Omega, his proportion is a little bit more human-like, so his thigh is really thick, because that little, the thick thigh, and the body on this one is kind of like a bigger, so can't, it can't move really good, it really can't, and yeah. So this was made back when back when um, SA Figure Ghost and SA, SA Figure's Bill was a thing. So they were kind of like experimenting with the joints. You can see they are really look alike. And I think um, they fixed it. So these were when the days were they were doing experimenting with uh, pull down joints. And most of the time that gonna break, but on the Amazon, it's kind of like a figure between that era. That's why I love it so much. The joint is really different. Yeah, you can see the joints on Omega and the joints on Alpha is kind of different. And the joints on Bill is the same with Alpha. Oh wait, no, the same with Omega, I guess. Yeah, 
and that way the figure have more less I think I could say it, less posability but it looks way better and cheaper they are almost the same way with the Sentai Sentai figure uh, the Super Sentai Power Ranger and all that stuff that pull down joints really easy to break but this one doesn't is not so yeah so this guy can look up that far look down not that far pivot really well a really good attitude move up forward backwards swivel here at the it's really tight here's a double bend at the elbows and this one can swivel and omega cannot swivel that that's dumb but this one can so that's way better articulation up down side to side and look at that body torso movement look at that it's really smooth really well and it's not loose so that's amazing the belt is kind of floating you can pull this up down split really well double bend at the knee swivel here but it's not really wanting to oh okay um the bear the knee the foot can swivel move up down really not really much and near toe bend so yeah that's it for my review on the omega and alpha and i hope you guys love this video and i'm sorry for not uploading it's been two weeks i know but it's lunar new year and i don't even i don't even have any figure to review and plus um china is having uh, Kelowna, is it right? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to read that. Kelowna right, virus, and yeah, you guys should take care of yourself. Please make sure to wear a mask when you go out. I don't even know. I don't even go out anymore. Like I, I always stay home. And even when I stay home, I use a face mask. So yeah, even though I live in Vietnam, I just gonna be safer with my health, and I just hope. I can, I'll be fine. I just hope that everything goes okay and fine. I hope China fix that problem. And I don't want it to be like Ebola. And I'm kind of scared. I'm rambling. I love you guys so much. See ya.